to believe we are at the midway point of the 2023 season. Fitting that standing atop of the college soccer mountain are two clubs from the Mountain State. Marshall at number one and recently number four, the Mountaineers of West Virginia. Unbeaten through eight, WVU is determined to make head coach Dan Stratford's fourth season the year that they hoist the cup in December. It's just a matter of time before we get to see them in full bloom. And I've said this before, John, it's, you know, showers bring flowers, right? And this has been a hard, hard beginning of the season for UNCG. But who knows, at the end of the tunnel, there could be beautiful flowers and a lot of light. Corner kick, but an early opportunity for UNCG. Conley hovering. Far stick. It's a volley that somehow was knocked down. Bader was the one that was on the end of it. They couldn't have placed a better ball, too. Look at that. Just jump up in the air, banged it off a deflection, and that's just also veteran leadership in the net for West Virginia. Usually Conley will take advantage of that space. This time he stayed back. Here's a delivery inside, a bounce. This looks good. Okawa will settle. Left foot shot blocked. He should have get, gotten rid of it just a little bit earlier. Conley will try. Conley wants the one, two. Okawa decides to play it on the square ball to Bader. Kawa. He thought about scooping. Here's Sesim's turn and blast. And yes, he wanted a little bit more on that with his his laces, but last season. And they had to go through some ebbs and flows last season. And a diving header that is sprayed way left, but that was set up real nicely. Watch this, how this is developed. I mean, whipping your body around, able to serve that ball close to that six is pretty remarkable. And on a platter, just a perfectly weighted ball as well. Into space is Okawa. Okawa will get it. Okawa, three targets, now overlapping run by Bader. Okawa, left foot shot. Oh, and it just skimmed right of the bar. Payne gets the start in front of Bell. And a fight. This could result in off the post and almost an own goal. Oh, my. <laughs> the lid on the goal continues for the Spartans team. There has to be such an immense level of frustration right now. And a volley clearance. But West Virginia will once again move close to that final third. And just a two-hopper that's immediately smothered by Jarrett Payne hoping and praying for a ball to come out where you can bang it through. So, and then you saw the keys for West Virginia. But uh, really very entertaining match between the two sides. Once the crowd gets in it, your eyes get that big. A lot of pressure. Bader, the freshman, will he give it a go? He does. Sends it a little too high, knows he lifted his torso. And you, they were getting into the box and getting to see some windows of opportunities. So I'm curious to see what he thinks on his movement, at least in the first half. This is slotted just perfectly and inside the six, and Caldera is able to finish it off, which is almost impossible for Jared Payne to stop. Starts with a header forward. You, uh, pardon me, West Virginia, quick in transition. And then, as you said, it's that duo, Tucata, Caldera, the roommates, they connect, and Caldera just rolls it in locked in and optimistic that you can find that equalizer. Caldera this time sprays it to his roommate. And Zakata looking, trying to peg that low left corner. And this one is far away from the target, Peranto. Uh, but yes, that's right. You're very good in geography today, John. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a shot and deflected. This time goes out of bounds. And this is a goal kick. When they make a mistake, they very seldom make mistakes. And once they do, you have to make sure you make them pay. This is good ball movement. Conley can rip it. Conley! He makes it level at one! Conley, the captain ban on. Time we've seen Jackson Lee make a mistake. He cleared it to the middle of the pitch. That is a cardinal sin for all keepers. Take a look back at the replay there. And just the emotion from the UNCG players. They are so fired up, Dovlo hyping up the crowd. The Spartans did not drop their head. They continued to fight 
And Conley, the captain, tied it up. This is a good plate ball that another beautiful diagonal ball that was headed just right of that post. It is put about $100,000 or so into in the offseason. Bader. This is Hamsa. Hamsa. Oh, -ho. deflected and chasing on is Bader. It's last touched. Official is Kevin Maurer. Mm. That's uh, the angle where the center ref was. It was a tough angle for him to make that call. Surprised that the line judge didn't make that call. And Zakata, good ball. Look at that bending. Oh, and a one touch banger into the back of the net, which then gives West Virginia the lead back. What a ball this is. Watch the drop, and it just falls directly to his teammate's foot. Tapped into the back of the net. Max Broughton has the go ahead goal for West Virginia late. In charge, Dovlo. Dovlo invites the challenge. Humsa helps out. Humsa clips it near stick. Here's Tatava. Tatava on a half volley put straight on the screws, but directly at the chest of Jackson Lee. Okay, scanning. Now there's 10 seconds. Humsa. And that is how the fight will end. The final score of West Virginia Mountaineers, too.